Let's learn how to create and use global variables in LabVIEW. To begin, look in the Programming Structures subpalette. You'll find the global variable right here. Let's go ahead and double click that. And a global variable is like a sub VI that only has a front panel and no block diagram. You can place controls and indicators on the front panel. And for this demonstration, I will place a total of three numeric controls. And I'll label these A, B, and C. You can give default values to the global variables by simply typing in the values here. Let's do just some random numbers off the top of my head. Then under Edit, you say make the current values the default values. Then I'll go ahead and save that. Now I'd like to save this under the VI name global.vi. And the handy thing here is you can have as many actual global variables inside this single VI as you like. Simply click the global variable and pick your specific value of interest. To access this value, you need to change it to the read mode. And at this point, I'll create an indicator so we can see the value. So we see it's named the indicator A, and we can also see that default value appearing. I'm gonna copy this a few times. I'm doing a control click and drag there. Create some more indicators, and you'll notice that the default values that I specified earlier are all appearing. Let me put a fourth instance of this global variable in the center. And let me change this back to write mode. I'm going to attach a control to the input of that global variable. The thing that I'd like to illustrate here is that when you write to that global variable, in this case I'm writing the new value 4, when you run the VI, notice that that value is reflected in the read version of the global variable that I placed earlier. Let me show you how you can edit the global variable to add other values of interest. In this case, I'd like to add an integer data type. Give this the new name D, and I'll right click on this and change the representation to 32 bit integer. That's I32. Give this a different default value. We'll call that 42. Save these new default values. Save the global variable. And then I'm going to select D. Note that now the data type is showing up as an integer. Again, you can have as many different data types within a single global variable VI as you like. Now I'd like to illustrate what happens if at some point you decide to change the name of one of these values. Say we change this to B new. Note that the global variable is black, reflecting the fact that it doesn't have a linked name. So you'll have to re select the value of interest. Lastly, I'd like to illustrate what happens if you're starting from scratch and you don't have an existing global variable to copy. Go to Select a VI, pick Global VI, and then pick your value of interest. And that's pretty much everything you need to know about global variables to get started. Good luck!